Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Real Videos. My name is Tom and this is The Call of Cthulhu. Since we did so well on the last horror game, we thought we'd give it another go. Guys, it is that time once again. Let's check it out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight in. And uh, fingers crossed it turns out to be a bit of a decent game. Right, adjust brightness. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it slightly a bit more brighter than I normally would. But the thing is, because I know you guys are gonna struggle to see it properly well. I think you said good. You go. New game, low game. I have not done. Let me just check the settings. Sound. Music. Turn the music off. We got the voice effects global. All right. Apply settings. Yep. All right. So I've turned the uh, music off. Basically. Go back. So we still got. Yep. Yeah, all right. Right, new game. Let's check this out. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case, unable to lift or able to lift him up from to his topor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Dun, 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 dun. So, that's right, we are back. Yes, we are. If you guys like games like this, and I mean, our last horror game went pretty well. Our last scary little uh, into the Cthulhu myth went well. So yeah, then we're going to give it a go. Is that time once again, guys? The old H2O. Right. Enter madness. Yes, we will. The old cutscene, hopefully. If I am mad, it is a mercy. May the gods pity the man who is in the callousness who can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. And as you guys know, I do love a bit of H.P. Lovecraft. What the? Okay. Bro, the movement yet? Yeah. Controls look pretty standard. What the heck? Was any outside? Yeah. A fish station looks like a giant tuna on there. Ooh. Okay. All right. Crouch to go that way. <laughs> well, this jumped straight into it, didn't it? We're going to crouch this way, guys. Bruh. This is a start already, isn't it? Okay. Come from that way. I have no idea what's going on. It's literally just jump straight. Oh. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. Okay. 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 Yes. All right. Let's go back this way. Check out this box. Bolt cutters. I should definitely take them. Okay. 
have no idea what that stuff is. Whoa! <laughs> That's proper. Did you see that? Oh no, please guys, tell me what you, I missed. I literally was looking at the box when that did that. Bro, I got the feeling this is going to be a lot of jump scares. Alright, it's got my interest. Okay, we're going to go for the bolt cutters, I guess. Can we go back this way, though? I've got a feeling. Alright. Okay. You have got my attention. <coughs> well, let's jump straight into it, didn't it? Okay. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is a bit of an unusual one. I'm gonna uh, go out here real quick. I wanna open the other side as well. Oh, two sides open, in case I have to run. Wow, okay, okay, okay. I feel my heart a little beating a little bit quicker now. Okay. Anything over here? No. No. Nope. Alright, we're going down. Little candle. Uh, worker over there. There's a sort of whale. There's the sky up there. What a putrid offering. Brah. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, oh oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna this is a little peaking a bit there on my old volume. Just crease out for a minute. Oh, okay. There's some sky over there. Yeah, they're orcas. Okay. Okay. I have been chosen for what? Exactly. Behold. Bruh. Everything has already been written.
been too long since I've slept in a bed. I used to be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Okay, so we're at October 1924. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Okay. That's better. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. True. Sure. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I'll probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Oh. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce, private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. That is correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Okay, allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve your score of your skill. Strength, echolent? What the hell is echolins? Echolot represents your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Improve the skill increases your chance of convincing or manipulating during the discussions. Spot hidden. Spot hidden represents your ability to find and hidden objects. Improving your skill increases your ca chances of finding hidden objects. An undiscovered object will not appear in the game. Psychology. Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving your, this skill increases your chances of understanding the motivation of a person based on his or her behavior, or in the analysis of an, an analysis of an object. <sighs> right. Let's see what we got. Occultism represents the knowledge of the occult sciences. Improving the skill will increase your chance of determining the use of the origin of occult artifacts of the expression your knowledge of the myth. Medicine represents your medical knowledge improving your skill. Increase your chance of determining the dosage of a drug or making diagnosis of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. Strength represents your ability to call on your physical power. Improving the skill, increase the chance of forcing doors or mechanisms using a violence, physical or verbal, during interactive discussion. Investigation represents your investigative talent, improving the skill, increase your chances of understanding past events by the analysis of a crime, concern, scene, or an object of picking locks. Available character points eight. Okay. All right, I'm going to uh, give it two, I think. Um, I take one of that, two there. I've got four left. That one. That one. 
Leaves me two. Take one of that and take that. I think, yeah. Validate. Uh, make sure I've not forgot anything. Yeah, validate. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. Well, you're and on a related matter. May I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce. You know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still with... I'm coming! Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died <coughs> on fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Whoa. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. Please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Your notebook details your current objectives to open it. Press that. Okay. Right. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy. We've done that already. Uh, Pierce, dark water, clues, inventory, lost battalion, 10718. The case, examine Hawkins file. Stephen Webster, the wealthy industrialist, came to my office. He wants me to reopen the Sarah Hawkins case named after his daughter, who died in a fire alongside her entire family. I must examine the documents he compiled in order to know more about the case. A warehouse on Darkwater. 
Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Okay, let's see what we got here. Some unreadable, but I can make out part of an address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room, claimed the whole family. The police decided on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written alongside the marriage of Sarah Charles Hawkins, a business from the island of Darkwater. They live in a recluse life. There is the only son, Simon. All right, yeah, let's go have a look at this picture. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. Yeah. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Okay, you see, oh, okay, so it's a choose your own. All right, all right. You're asking the wrong guy. I read about her mental fragility in a police report. Something's not right with this story. Find out about Warehouse 36. Where did Sarah Hawkins live? Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. <coughs> okay. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Okay. I think we're pretty much good there. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Hmm. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by the lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tubulous story of the small land off the coast of Massachusetts. 
Darkwater Island. Now the question is, is this game developer used an actual island in the game? Or is it just a make-up island? Guys, in the comments down below, tell me what you think. If not, look it up. Tell me. I'll be interested to know. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology... All right. Leave for dark water, but first, have a drink. Whew. Okay, let's go. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire and killed her family. The only one she has left in father disturbing painting. On the shipping label, the address of warehouse set in the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for the Pierce investigation. Pierce's investigation, should I say. Darkwater Port. Oh, yeah. Darkwater Port? Hmm. Okay. This so atmospheric. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. 
Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Right. Guys? Gotta say... That is just an epic picture right there. Welcome to Dark War. Gotta say that. Welcome to Dark War. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. And we'll crack on with this episode and the last next one. Guys, stay awesome. I will see you guys later. Bye bye now. Right. Guys, as always, I am found on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch and Instagram. Guys, don't forget to check me out. And guys, if you want to see more content like this, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys later. Bye. Yeah.